Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we beat the Electric Gym, and now we're working our way towards a Titan. And I see a new Pokemon. So, uh, we're gonna try to grab this real quick. Nice. I think this is, like, a Grass Ghost Pokemon. Bramblin. Not very effective. Definitely a grass type. Hex. Now, do I keep using Nuzzle? If I use Bite, it's gonna kill it. Crap. Uh, one more and then we'll use a Pokeball. Pokeball. What an interesting Pokemon. Alright. Bram, yep, Grass Ghost. Not even Bramlin knows where it's headed as it tumbles across the wilderness. Blown by the wind, it lows getting wet. Alright, in the box you go. I think it evolves too, so I have to try to evolve that thing sometime. Um, take a potion, little buddy. There we go. Let's. I really do want to get you evolved, buddy. We're getting there. Wanna buy this? Oh, is that a Roly Coley? Nice. It's another new one. Well, last gen, but new to me in this game. Alright. Nuzzle. Nuzzle's becoming really handy, actually. <laughs> Rock polish. So I think the next Titan is a Steel type. So Pomo is gonna be really good for the next like Titan and the next Gym. So we're gonna be relying on our little buddy here. Plus, our Kilowattril will be really handy for the Gym. We're definitely gonna be using him. I, I have Finizen with me right now, the Dolphin, um, just in case we need a Water type out here. You never know. Alright, Rolly Coley. Wasn't a super big fan of its final evolution in the last gen, but it's alright. There's Meowth, there's Kafant. So that's where they spawn, huh? Out here. Um. And there's a path that goes out that way. So we have to go up and around. There's Voltorbs here too, apparently. I don't see any Voltorbs. Smooth rock. More roly colies down there. There's the Voltorb. Hopefully it doesn't blow itself up. <laughs> it was about to blow itself up. <laughs> God. Uh, let's bite it, because I don't think we're going to be able to paralyze an electric type. I really wish they would do the designs for Voltor where it just looks like every single Pokeball. And then you could decide which one you want to catch. I think that would be so cool. Imagine having like a luxury ball Voltorb. And you can make like certain ones like really rare, like a Master Ball one. Voltorb. Alright. Add that to the Pokedex. And we're good to go. 
easily mistaken as a Pokeball. Alright. Um, we're just going to keep moving forward. Looks like Carcoal is around this area as well because the evolution showed up on the map. Oh, here it comes. Yo, Mark. So, somewhere in one of the mines that are around here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Oh. Well, we'll have to put Palm all away, I guess. Oh, God. Trio is here. Well, I think I've walked a few steps with this thing. Is that a Varoon? Let's try to catch this thing. So this is the thing that turns into the car Pokemon. I have no idea what type this thing is. I'm just assuming. At least I can hit it. Sludge. Okay. Insurance. Ow. Not very effective. Get in the ball. Got it. Alright. We got a Varoom. Steel poison type. That's that's an interesting typing. Mm, if it had levitate, it would be really good. Uh, summary. Overcoat. Takes no damage from sandstorms. It also protects from powders and spores. Oh, okay. In the box you go. Of course, we know it evolves into Rev of Room, or however you pronounce it. Since uh, since Pomo is put away, we might as well just heal up and look for this Titan Pokemon. Some Nikonda. I don't think we should stop unless it's a shiny, so or something brand new. Is it? It's out that way. Bagon spawns out here too. The heck? I've seen a few Bagons all around this world. Bramlin, blowing around. Thunderstone. Ooh, that'll come in handy. So it's supposed to be this way. And there it is. That is a huge worm. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, that's freaky. Alright. Should I use dig or arm? I'm gonna use arm thrust. Wrap. Ow. Alright. Arm 
Arm Thrust again. Hopefully we get a, a good roll. We'll get another power up from this as well. I don't know what what we'll get, but it be interesting. Iron Tail? Ow! That's not good. Uh, arm Thrust. This should be the part where it starts eating... Oh, there it goes. Pokedex has been updated. I have to chase this thing in here? Wait. We might as well. Now that we have a chance. Oh god. <laughs> might as well. How far in did this thing go? Worm began eating something. Oh, here we go. Alright. Alright, you managed to pin down the Titan. That's the Lurking Steel Titan. It's, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might even be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together. Alright. Bring it on. Alright, this time I'm definitely using Dig. He's using the new... <laughs> he's using the new tentacle. Toad's cool. Victory's gonna taste so good, Toad's cool. I wish I could move the camera over. But I can't. Sandstorm. Supersonic. And it dodged. It doesn't affect it? Oh no. Okay, well. I guess we're back to fighting type moves. So ground moves don't work on it. That's pretty handy, actually. Alright, arm thrust. Not doing as much damage anymore, but oh well. Should try to paralyze it. Use Sandstorm again. That was dumb. Please work. And it... Our friend over there is really not having uh, much help in this battle. Let's look at it. It's a ground grass type. Battle. Let's use Nuzzle. I almost accidentally used it on our friend. <laughs> Hopefully this will bother it. It just keeps using the same moves. Alright, it does... Oh, ooh, that's even better. It does have uh, Iron Tail, so I'm surprised it's not using it yet. Chip damage is real. Alright, arm thrust. Hopefully it hits itself in confusion. Whoa! Oh, does Hex do more damage if it's has a status effect on it? Alright, 
Uh, if he does Hex again, it'll be all over. Two. Three. And we got three off. Please hit it with a Hex. Yes. And it did it. Nice job. Is gone. Orthworm has been defeated. Worry Seed. I don't want Worry Seed. Sludge Wave. Um, that is a non. Hmm. Should I get rid of Toxic Spikes? I. I don't think I'm gonna use this move. Doesn't look like my pommel evolved either. We did it, Mark. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at that at its face though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. I bet if we go in here we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. Let's go. Let's see what ability we get next and see uh, if it helps his Pokemon even just a little I'm sure there's some here too alright aha uh -huh. I knew it, I spy Herba Mystica Salty Herba Mystica. Okay. Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Apparently, Salty, salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for ne neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. This will definitely help Mavo Stiff feel even better. Well, that's good. Come on, Mark. Let's get some food going. And uh, once we get this out of the way, I'm going to try to get myself to the town before we end things off. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. It comes with a special Titan badge. Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. We did it! As salty as McDonald's. <laughs> oh god. Figured this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brood of yours. Mm. Here you go, buddy. Eat up. Come on out, Mava Stiff. Got some for you too, bud. Hopefully this will perk him right up. That's it, small bites, small bites. Here you go. <laughs> Let's see what ability he gets now. Jump higher. Well, that's good. At least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? <laughs> this brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, before I forget, Mark, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Urban Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. So does that mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food. Are you done with your sandwich, Mabo Stiff? Oh, he roughed. 
He roughed. You heard that, right, Mark? Mama Sif just woofed, right? Right, I'm not imagining things. Oh? Oh, he's trying. Woof. See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Mama Sif, who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are. Yes, you are. It's been so long since I heard that woof. Mama Stiff is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Of course. One for the abilities, but also because I want to help out Mama Stiff. Can't, you can't just put a hurt doggo in front of me and not expect me to want to. <laughs> I gotta help the hurt doggo. Hello, Mark. This is Toro. I detect that Maraidon has regained more of its original power while you're riding upon it. It seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Okay. Well, I kind of want to see how far it goes. Please continue to take good care of Maraidon. Alright. Let's see... Oh, yeah, wow. It is a lot higher. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back on path. If we continue down here... So, I'm probably going to be coming back here to look for that worm Pokemon so I can catch one of my own. Whee! Unless I find it on the way out. Wait the jump. Uh, let's see, are we on the right path? Yes, we are. So we just keep going down that way and we'll pass the rufflet, which I'll do off screen. Alright, let's go faster. Let's get our way to the town. Well, as we were making our way towards the town, I would like to thank everybody for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this episode and enjoyed the fact that we got another Titan out of the way, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Come on back for more. And uh, hopefully we can get over here and get that item stuff started. Because I want to evolve my Charcadet already. Oh jeez. Bagon. Ramlin. Voltorb. That is a Hariyama if I've ever seen one. Psychic Terrain. Alright. There's a Pokemon Center, so we should be getting it very, very close now. I see another one of Team Star's things, but I don't think we're going to be doing that one just yet. I think that one's a while off. Because I, I think some of these, like, like, jump up in level... All the way up to like the 40s. So maybe we just work on what we've got and uh, go to the gyms. We, we need to go to the water type gym next. Alright. Zap up, go. Now to find whoever gives you the item. I have no idea who gives you the item. This could take a while. There's a battle area here. There's no gym here, right? Weird. Oh, so they just have a court here just for people to battle? Gimme. Uh, rock. Oh, Rocky Helmet. That's a handy one. Unless you're catching wild Pokemon. Um. Uh, don't see anything yet. Might have to look this up off screen.
Pokemon Center. Okay. Maybe it's in one of the houses? Well, I was hoping to find it before the video was over, but I guess I'll just look for it off screen. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.